Hi guys, so I'm finally back from America, settled in and realized if I was gonna do any kind of haul that, of stuff that I bought, um, I really need to get on with it. Um, I bought a hell of a lot of t-shirts, so I'm gonna start with that and kind of just fast forward through them. So I'm not gonna really explain anything, I'm just gonna show you all my t-shirts to start with. Okay, so I hope that was easy enough to see kind of if there was a back print on something as well. Um, but if you wanted to know where I got these shirts, if I can remember, comment down below. I'll try and reply to you. Um, that's all the t-shirts I got. And now I'm just gonna go on to like other clothing, pajamas, etc. I got this cute little Beetlejuice shirt. This one was from Hot Topic. It does need to be ironed. But um, yeah, it's got cute little sleeves and there's actually um, embroidery. Then I got this other Beetlejuice inspired top from Hot Topic as well. If you have seen my Instagram, um, you'll see this is what I wore on Halloween as a witch. This dress is from Unique Vintage. I hope you guys can see it. quite long. I picked up two tracksuits while I was in Vegas. This one is a Santa Cruz one. It's got a cropped kind of hoodie style and then the like jogging bottoms are more like leggings as they're a bit more fitted and they've got zips. The other tracksuit I got was from Champion. I got this in one of the shopping malls in Vegas. They did a collaboration with Dr. Zeus. And this is also a cropped hoodie. By the way, if anything looks dirty, it's probably because I've already worn it and it's due for the wash. And I thought I'd get it out and show you everything before I do all that. And these are the bottoms that go with it. The next thing is PJs. So I got a lot of PJ bottoms. These ones are Nightmare Before Christmas. I also got a Beetlejuice sandworm pair. These ones are from Walmart. So I've got some, they're more like legging type PJ bottoms. These ones have little vampire teeth on them. These ones are orange with little haunted castles on and graveyards. And finally the set I got these are from Target. So this is a little Ouija board top. And then it comes with these cute little fuzzy shorts. Kidding, these are another pair of pajama bottoms I got. These are from the Disney store and yes, they are 
way too big for me but I couldn't help myself and they're at Nightmare Before Christmas. So for clothing, that's kind of it. I don't think I did too badly. Um, if you're thinking that the t-shirts look absolutely huge, that's because they probably are. I absolutely love oversized clothing and I aim to find the biggest size possible. So they're all at least um, an XL, going up to about four XL in the t-shirts. Um, the next items I'm going to show you are accessories, so I bought a lot of Loungefly bags because I had to and once you see them I'm sure you'll understand why. Okay, so the first Loungefly item I have that my husband actually bought me as a wedding gift is the Vampire Teddy from The Nightmare Before Christmas and it is a little backpack and the interior is super cute it also comes with the little ducky charm and the little sandworm i've got on there i actually got from a horror plushy keyring line bag i'm sorry if all my key rings make like a lot of noise because some of my bags have quite a few on um this is my second lounge fly purchase it is barrel from the nightmare before christmas um, they do all of them in the, they do all the trick-or-treaters in the backpacks, um, but Barrel was my favourite and it had the most detail. Um, here on the side you've also got the bones, this is what the inside looks like. And these are a few key rings that I just got on my travels, so I've got these from Vegas, a little Converse shoe. And I've got the headless Billy from the Hocus Pocus blind bag key rings. The third thing I got from Loungefly is this wallet. I did really want the backpack, but because I'd already bought the barrel backpack, I thought I better chill out, so I bought the wallet instead. Then the fourth Loungefly item I got was this Oogie Boogie Roulette Wheel handbag. And yeah, it does spin. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And you do get the little keychain dice. And this little Sally plush keyring came from a blind bag. Then my last lounge fly purchase came from Disneyland. And I'm so glad I got my hands on it and really didn't need another backpack. This is the Mickey pumpkin backpack and they're only sold at the Disney parks I think. On the inside it's like a Halloween Mickey print and it is like the softest kind of like faux leather material, soft like suede -y. Another little bag I got was this little bum bag from Box Lunch and it's Beetlejuice and I just love how the strap is a sandworm and it's got all the embroidery detailing. Okay, I lied about the pumpkin bag. I actually got this little zero coin purse. And then a few key rings I got is this little oogie boogie that came from the same kind of blind bag as the Sally. Then I got this little Kerapi burger from a blind bag at Universal. And then I got this little Fuggler keyring, which I just love for the teeth. And I got that one from Target, I think. And the last kind of accessory I got was this little beret. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a Creepsville one. I got it from the Bearded Lady Museum in Burbank. Okay, before I move on, this bag I didn't actually by whilst I was in America but ordered it before I went and I have to show it to you because it's just gorgeous. So this is from Love Paint and Stitches, a collab they did with, I want to say she's called Michelin Pit, I don't know how you say Michelin, Michelin, um, but it is freaking stunning of Creature from the Black Lagoon, she designed it, it is a handbag. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It has two little pouches. 
But yeah, I had to show you that because it is just freaking gorgeous. With um, accessories and clothing, um, I bought like, I couldn't tell you how many pairs of socks I bought. I have a sock obsession and I did actually start wearing them all whilst I was on the trip. So I've got a few pairs to show you because I couldn't actually find them all. Some of them are in the wash, etc. The majority of them are either from Spirit or Hot Topic. So lastly, I'm going to go on to like a bunch of stuff, decorations, plushies, mugs, etc. of what I got. The first little plushie I got is this vampire teddy from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This I actually got in the Disney outlet store and I know this is available in the UK if you want one. This little Pennywise guy I got at Universal in one of the comic stores. So cute. This sandworm I managed to get from Hot Topic. This giant mare I got from Spirit. Don't ask me how I got him back home in my suitcase. He is quite big. This little um, squidgy oogie boogie I got from Disney. And they had a few other characters in like blind bags, but this is the only one that you could buy um, out of the bag. Then I got this from Box Lunch. It's actually um, a dog toy. But I love it so much, especially because it's Christmas coming up and I'm gonna use it as a decoration. I got this cute little garland from, it was like um, like a charity shop, kind of thrift shop, Goodwill, Home Goods, and I got it for a dollar. We got these little sand lights from Spirit. Let me see if I can light them up. I don't know if you can see them lighting up. Then I also got a box of felt pumpkins, but I did already get them out and put them around our living room. So here's just a few of them. Little felt pumpkins from Target. I try not to buy pop so much anymore since they take up so much space, but I had to get this little Beetlejuice one. And it's a Hot Topic exclusive. Speaking of pops, I also got this pop collaboration with Pears of Barrel. I bought the Lydia Funko Pop cereal. Obviously I had to flat pack it to get it home. So I will be putting this back up. And this is the little pop that I got with it. I'll show you these because I got them from the McDonald's Happy Meal. But they had the little Halloween Hello Kitties out. This one has a cute little glow in the dark mask on. And this one is a little pumpkin and you can change the so it's a little jack-o'-lantern hello kitty then figures that i've always seen online that i've always wanted are the sunny angels and i found the animal pack so i got this little dolphin one I got this circus tent one i found this in the cabinet that is actually from an old halloween collection and i had to get it because it is so cute a little pumpkin um, this I got from Hot Topic, a little Beetlejuice sandworm, obviously you can tell I like sandworms and it does light up but I don't think you're gonna s see it, oh yeah you can see it, kinda. Then I got this Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket from Disney which I'm so glad I got because when they brought out the full body Oogie Boogie either last year or the year before and I watched it online I was very jealous 
I managed to get the head this year. So going on to kind of like homeware, we got this sandworm oven glove, which is so cute, probably too cute to use. I got this Beetlejuice flask from Hot Topic. I got this Killer Clowns from Outer Space tumbler glass from Universal from the Horror Night. I got this mug, which is the Mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. And it comes with this little rubber hat to keep your drinks hot. The first mug I bought in Vegas was this one from Starbucks. It is the Spiderweb from the Halloween collection. It is dirty because I used it today, sorry. And I also got this Evil Dead water bottle, which was in the Evil Dead exhibition at the Bearded Lady Vintage Museum, I think it's called something like that, Bearded Lady, Bearded Ladies Museum. And um, what's cool about this is when it's cold, it actually turns red, so it's like temperature reactive. I don't know if you can see it now because it's not that cold. This is from yesterday. And the last bit of homeware is this tiki creature from the Black Lagoon cut tumbler type thing. I, I might put a plant in this one. And got this from a store called Halloween Town. So we didn't manage to get all the masks that we went looking for. Um, but we did get a few and managed to get them home in one piece. So this is the Frankenstein vintage monster mask. I got the Universal Studios creature mask. We got the Trick or Treat Studios Misfits mask from Spirit. And I managed to grab this Gremlins mask from Hot Topic. Super cheap actually for about $3.50. $3 then from Halloween Town we managed to get these cute little, I don't even know what you'd call them, little um, picture decorations. So we got the Chucky set. This one's my favourite. I follow the artists on Instagram and they just do the cutest. Um, graphics. Sorry for the glow from my ring light. And then I got the Trick or Treat Studios Universal Monsters pack. This one is my favourite. I basically bought this set just for this one. So apart from all the sweets I kind of bought, brought back, because to be honest, we've probably eaten most of them. Um, that should be everything that we got. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but you get the gist. That's what we got whilst we were away. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm super nosy about what people buy, especially when it comes to like horror theme things um, so if you like this video please give it a like comment down below if you have any questions and let me know if you want any other kind of videos like this I know I keep promising um, our like horror collection haul I feel like that would be a really big video and that's probably why I've been putting it off but if you guys want to see that please let me know and I'll see you on my next one thank you oh also if you're even more nosy and you wanted to see our trip I have put a video up already of our trip a little bit of our wedding and our trip on to LA after that so if you fancy watching that and haven't already I will link it down below and I'll see you on my next one thanks guys